Hello, ladies and gents. This is Derek Hobbs for Communications 570, Communication in the Global Workplace. And today I will talk to you all about my webinar being focused on a three day training for Fashion Nova's LLC T, uh, TSU's Fashions that deals with New York Fashion Week, which will be coming up September 8th. Also in this so webinar, we will focus on two videos as well as some activities followed by a brief Therefore, survey. Therefore, let's get into it. Let's talk about what the class will look like or what the webinar will look like. The webinar will consist of an introduction, a module that focuses on unconscious bias, and also stereotype and also prejudice. I will go by defining stereotypes and prejudice and then moving into unconscious bias. From there, I will also focus on teaching about an activity that can help you change gender-specific unconscious bias and the way we look at things. And also so keep in mind, New York Fashion Week will be coming up September 8th through 12th and it will gear towards showing Indonesian models as well as the American models on a runway near you. Gear up, get ready, it's set, let's go. Let's start this training. I forgot to say my purpose. My purpose is to distort any bias or unconscious bias on Fashion Nova LLC founder Richard Sagenhand, along with making sure that we understand what an unconscious bias is. Um, also, the goal is to correct any unconscious bias through verified research, understanding about Fashion Nova, and just because a colleague had a bad experience with me introducing the company when we started this in part one. Therefore, take a look. By defining prejudice and also defining implicit or also known as unconscious Therefore, bias. prejudice means a preconceived opinion of another person not based on reason or experience. It can be negative. It can be positive. But more so, it's about beliefs, thoughts, feelings, and attitudes someone holds about a group. Basically, a prejudgment. Also referenced by Lumen, an introduction to sociology, race, and unconscious bias as well, too, taken from Vanderbilt University, equity, diversion, and inclusion. Also, the next picture will show what Vanderbilt University looked like before moving into our Module 1, which focused on gender and fashion for Fashion Nova which was a module that was inspired by a personal attack that occurred with me in week three of the course when introducing Fashion Nova. And that is my teaching for the whole training as well as getting ready for New York Fashion Week. Unconscious bias, though not limited to race, unconscious bias is a social stereotype about certain groups of people that individuals Before we're looking at unconscious bias, you have your tribalism, you have your stereotypes, you have your racism, and you have your prejudice all into one. Just taking a look down on how this man in this train is actually going through a unconscious bias right now, in which he has a dog in that stroller, which many people pass judgment on him because normally you would put a baby there. So to some people, that felt strange. Or even being here at the BBVA, where most of the homeless stay and people are quick to pass judgment on them just because of their downfall or whatever experience they had in life. Instead of uplifting them. Stay tuned with me and just share your thoughts on Therefore, this and this beginning experience. in module one is gender and fashion nova. Basically what in this module I wanted to demonstrate is uh, fashion nova, Shady's history of ripping off black women and immigrant workers. That is one of the YouTube links that I discovered through my research from Black Femity TV. And also, you will see once I do show that link that at 534, that was basically incorrect and it's basically biased in a response to Fashion Nova getting their clothes from Asian factories, which they do not. Also, I have another video that's titled uh, Models Talk Racism, Abuse and old at 25 that shows you just how cruel the model industry can actually be and therefore i want you to determine which is worse 
the model industry are discrediting Fashion Nova for ripping off black girls and immigrant workers. Sagi Hand, the face and founder of Fashion Nova LLC. And what I want to show in the next picture is the fact that this is an immigrant worker who was said to be working at one of his manufacturers. However, that is not true. Fashion Nova does not have a manufacturing company. What they have is what is called fashion buying. And in fashion buying, uh, designers can go by the fabric or go by the fashion and put their own spin on it once they decide on how to uh, make the fashion more fashionable. Like Fashion Nova uses a tag. They basically rip the other designer's tag off and maybe they stitch Fashion Nova's tag on. And that is all that pretty much is. It's nothing more than somebody saying, well, Fashion Nova, you know, rips fashion designers off for their clothing, which is false. You see, when this article was written by the New York Times, Katarzynoff on December 16, 2019, she is the chief compliance officer and general counsel for Fashion Nova, in which her statement to New York Times reads, We have already had a highly productive and positive meeting with the Department of Labor in which we discuss our ongoing commitment to ensure that all workers involved with the Fashion Nova brand are appropriately compensated for the work they do. She also go on to state, any suggestions with Fashion Nova responsible for underpaying anyone working on our brand is Next, we will look at Models Talk, a YouTube video by New York Times that discusses racism, abuse, and feeling old at 25 by various models that focuses on the emphasis of the fashion industry, in which the fashion industry talks about the idea of beauty being a thin white woman, 14 to 15 year old girls are the faces of beauty, plus size modeling is limited and because we are invited. Also, light skin versus dark skin models, change of name and appearance to fit the industry standard. They are also critiqued for their size in front of other clients. Most models feel uncomfortable in the poses. Some of them have had sexually aggressive behavior for some of the photographers. The fashion industry overall is obsessed with youth and not old. And also, in closing, fashion is becoming more diverse, but we still have a long way to go. Women do often, from times, forget their consumer power, and they often forget that everything starts with self-love. And in closing, a role model is not someone that is showing people how to be themselves, but how also to be a better The link you. of models talk abuse, racism, and feeling old at 25 in the link, so in the discussion board. So therefore, you can see the link, see what I'm talking about, and just know there's many things that goes on with the fashion industry for my models or model influencers for fashion novels that will be entering new york fashion week again on september 8th through september oh, boys and 12th girls, let's now do an activity an activity that will involve gender barriers and breaking those gender barriers through path also known as programs for advanced technology and health which was founded in April of 2010 in Kenya as a HIV awareness camp, but they also do certain games that gives people the right to take back their power if they're feeling Our down or feeling left out. Will involve drawing columns, doing a fill up chart. And also making sure we write the word man and the word woman based off our columns. Come take a look with me as we begin discussing the gender barriers or activity. And in the first column, write man. In the second column, write woman. In step two, you're going to ask the fashion over influencers to make a list of things associated with the idea of being a man and record the ideas on a flip chart. Help the fashion over influences to include both surgical and biological Three. characteristics. As I said about in the being previous a man step, or being repeat a woman. the same activity in the woman column. That means make sure we ask the fashion over influencers to make a list of things associated with the idea of being a woman and record the ideas on a flip chart. Also, make sure we help the fashion over influencers to include both social and biological characteristics. That Four, make up a woman. Was briefly reviewing some of the characteristics that was listed in both columns with the same fashion over influencers. 
Next, you're going to change the titles of the columns, putting woman in the place of man and also vice versa. Ask the fashion over influencers. Can the characteristics mentioned for men be attributed to women? Can the characteristics that for women be attributed to that men? A quick way to remember the and difference allow for between that to be sex a- and gender is that sex is biological, but gender is social. This means that the term sex refers to in that are biologically characteristics, whereas gender, the roles are learned gradually and can change over time. Final step is to use some questions to facilitate a discussion, and this is how we will end our activity. Those questions are, what message do my Fashion Nova get about being a man in your community? Also, what message do their girls or the Fashion Nova influencers get about being a woman? in the community and we have a third question that speaks where does these messages come from my fourth and final question where are the most dominant or powerful messages or what are those most dominant or powerful messages and we want to know why let's conclude it tsu's fashion nova llc New York Fashion Week training for day two.